So it's really important that you season your chalkboard. And you, you need to do this before you ever write on it. And this is true for whether you're using chalk or chalk markers. Um, so to season with a chalkboard marker, you need to shake it up really, really, really well. And there are instructions on the um, either the package or the pen itself about telling you about this. And then the first time you use it, you'll notice there is no, no marker, no, no liquid, no anything coming out of the tip. You need to prep the tip. You can do that by pressing up and down on some paper. So I'm pressing up and down and letting that ink, or in this case chalkboard marker, flow down and fill the nib. You only have to do this step the very first time. And then every single time before you use it, shake it really well and test it on some paper and make sure that it's flowing. You want to be able to see that you're getting a consistent line. Okay, then to season, what you need to do is completely and totally cover the chalkboard with the chalk marker. If you don't do that, whatever you write the first time will forever be there. You can erase most of it, but you will have a ghost of whatever you write first. So if you were to write welcome on here without seasoning it, seasoning, seasoning it, <laughs> uh, tongue twister, first it would, you would always have that ghosty line. So to season, you're just going to completely scribble the marker or a piece of chalk, completely fill up the whole entire chalkboard surface. Then take a paper towel, you don't have to wait, just take a paper towel, and this is a dry one, and start rubbing it. You're rubbing it into and then off of the chalkboard surface. You would do this on any chalkboard. This isn't unique to this one. Any chalkboard that you buy or that you make, you can buy chalkboard paint and paint it wood or other surfaces and make things into a chalkboard or you buy a ready-made chalkboard. Either case, you need to season it first. If you're seasoning with a regular piece of chalk, you would just take the edge of the chalk and rub it all over, just like I scribbled with a pen. And then it, after you, you use the dry to get most of it off, here I'm using a slightly damp paper towel and you can get off the rest of it. You see it goes pretty much back to black or totally looking clean. And then go back and use your dry one again, your dry paper towel, and just completely, just make sure that the surface is totally dry. Doing, you're just going to do this, and then your chalkboard is seasoned and ready to accept chalk and then be able to then erase that chalk later. This works for chalk or chalkboard markers, and you can intertwine between the two. So now that you've seasoned it, you can write your message. When writing with a chalkboard marker, you'll notice that it's much more... Um, opaque um, than a regular piece of chalk, which is why we like it so much. And it's a little easier to hang on to than a piece of chalk as well. So we like chalkboard markers, but you certainly can do a regular piece of chalk with this. In either case, you want to go about half your normal speed when you're writing or drawing or doodling. It gives time for the ink to flow and for you to and to think of it as drawing the letters if you're if you're trying to spell something as opposed to writing. Okay, and then you see you can just erase it, and it comes all the way off. If I had not seasoned, it, we would have this ghost word that said welcome under there. That it, wouldn't, it would always be there, and it's quite annoying. If you're ever having a hard time getting chalk, if you've, already, if you've done that and you didn't season it, and you are annoyed with the ghost word or doodle that you have left on there, um, we have found that... The couple of tricks, one is that Mr. Clean eraser. Um, that works pretty well to remove chalk that was on chalkboard that wasn't seasoned. Or there is another fix. Um, we sell a, a large wide marker that is a chalkboard maker marker. So it has chalkboard paint essentially, but in a marker form that you can completely go over a chalkboard and essentially refinish it with more chalkboard. Um, it's only available in black. Um, and then you let that dry and it only is gonna work on, on a porous surface, but you it does work for touching up or refinishing a chalkboard. Um, and then after that's dry, then you can season your newly refinished chalkboard and go again.